Race for the Warrior with Patrick and Eric. Tell me about Race for the Warrior. What is it, first of all? Well, the Race for the Warrior is our primary fundraiser for the Northeast Indiana Base Community Council. And we raise money for military support for families and who are experiencing financial issues. Now, it's already happened for this year, right? It has. Tell me about this year's race. How was it? It was great. Uh, weather cooperated. We increased our uh, participation from 422 registrants last year to 771. That's a huge increase. Yeah. Very That's a high. lot of people. It was. Well, well done. I feel that, like you just shocked me. Can you tell? I had no idea that it grew that much. That's awesome. And great on the weather because you just never know. And unfortunately, we can't control that, can we? Um, so tell us about this, the military support fund. And tell me again, it's the Northeast Indiana... Base Community Council. Base Community Council. Tell me about this this fund and what all sure. you're able to do. Sure. With well, that. the organization's 10 years old, and one of our primary missions is to support military families in the community. We serve 11 counties, and the military support fund. If someone uh, in the military is experiencing financial issues, uh, typically within 24 hours, we can help solve their problem. That's amazing. Um, we issue one-time grants of up to $650. And a lot of times the need is greater, so a lot of times we'll partner with other organizations like, you know, um, Associated Churches or a United Way agency to fill the gap on what else might be needed to get them where they need to be. There, and I don't know that we really know, unless we have family that have been military families or some ex personal experience with it, I don't think that we realize as non-military families how great that need is. Um, you have a lot of people who are serving our country, doing things that are essential for us, and barely making it. Well, and there's a myth that people think that everyone in the military has got all the benefits and, right. that they need. And the reality is that sometimes if you are in the military and you change mission, you get transferred from one project to another, or you're activated and deployed, there's a gap mm -hmm. between what you were earning and what you are. And in, in Northeast Indiana, you know, we have a couple thousand people who are in the reserves. So when those three to 500 people get called up, they leave their day-to-day -day job. Right. And they go in, and there could be months before they actually see any uh, paycheck coming from the government. And then also when they return, they don't always get to go right back to work. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is not something that they caused on their own. You know, it's part of the military life. Is there something that we can do, and obviously next year we can come do the Race for the Warrior. Absolutely. Um, or I can come watch. Or, I don't know. Or you can ride on the pedal bar. Oh, see? So, Excellent. I could do that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Or walk with your dog. I can walk with, I can walk with my dog, yes. I, I probably shouldn't be running anymore, but I could walk with my dog. What are, what are other things we can do to support you all? Well, becoming a member of the Base Community Council is, is step one. Uh, when it comes down to the race, we always ask for, for three things that will be helpful. One, become a sponsor. Two, become a volunteer. Or three, just come out and participate. Enjoy yourself. Uh, where can we find more information? Our website is the perfect place. It's nibcc.org, and that will direct you to the race website. We also are on Facebook and Twitter, all of the social media sources. So if you Google us, you're going to find us. It. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations on an extremely su successful race this year. And please look for them on social media and go to that website, nibcc.org, so that we can support people who are supporting our military families. It's so very important. We'll be right back.